Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on the male reproductive system. So if we start with the external genitalia, obviously the penis is a major part of the, uh, the male external uh, genitals. If we divide it up into a few different parts, uh, the crust is, is near the base of the penis. And actually, if you um, look at um, the uh, corpora cavernosa, um, it's specifically the base of them that's inside of the body cavity. Uh, so it's part of the, the way that the penis is anchored um, inside the body. And speaking of the word body, the majority of the penis is the body of the penis, which would be uh, all of this region, which of course varies in length. The glands portion of the penis, the glands penis, is also known as the head of the penis, uh, where the urethral opening is going to be found. And of course, through the urethra, you're going to have urine and uh, seminal fluids coming out that contain sperm. Uh, the prepuce is uh, also known as the foreskin. Uh, so this is the same thing as the word foreskin. Uh, in this particular diagram, they don't do a very good job uh, of showing it. Um, I mean, it's not labeled is what I mean. Here it is. Uh, so this outer region here and here, of course, this is a, uh, a cross section, a sagittal cross section uh, through the penis. But um, there's some debate as to whether or not the removal of the foreskin is a good or bad thing. Um, depending on who you ask, I mean, it is a controversial topic. Um, in certain religions, uh, it's removed when, right after the baby is born, within a few days. Um, some men elect to do it uh, later on in life. Uh, but advantages of, of getting it removed is that um, inside of the region between um, the surface of the glands penis and the inside of the, the prepuce, you're going to have a, a material being secreted called smegma. And it uh, is is a kind of substance that uh, is nutrients for bacterial growth. Uh, bacteria would be attracted to that. Um, and you're actually more at risk for um, certain uh, your, your urine, uh, UTIs, um, uh, urinary tract infections. And um, the studies have shown that uh, the foreskin there makes you slightly more at risk uh, for certain viral infections, including HIV. Um, but men who have this particular part intact, as long as they keep it cleaned, uh, they can reduce those problems, of course. Um, one of the disadvantages of getting rid of it, from what I've read, is that um, there is actually a loss of sensation um, because you are removing some of the skin uh, associated with uh, the head of the penis or the glands penis, and um, men who've got it removed um, after having sex early on in life have reported that there is some reduction in sensation during sexual intercourse. So it's it's one of those topics that, depending on who you ask, you're going to hear uh, various opinions as to whether or not the removal of that is a good or bad thing. Inside of the body of the penis, you're going to see uh, the corpora cavernosa. So one of them is called corpus cavernosum, but there's two. Uh, and you can't see it very well from this particular uh, angle, but uh, you can see it right here. Here's the corpora cavernosa, corpora cavernosa. There's actually two. It's like two tubes running side by side. And then underneath them, you would see the one corpus spongiosum. So inside of the corpora cavernosa, each one has its own artery, and there's a lot of tissue inside of there that will get engorged with blood. Uh, lowering uh, the blood pressure in that artery is going to get increased blood flow inside of um, sort of this, this chamber, and that's what leads to an erection. Uh, the corpus spongiosum is uh, underneath it. You can see that right here. Corpus spongiosum. Corpus spongiosum. Uh, that's actually inside of there is where you would see the urethral passageway. And then, of course, there's the scrotum, um, the sac that holds the testes inside of them. So it's normal to have two testes. Uh, each one is a testis. You also could use the term testicle. Um, but the scrotum, like I mentioned with the female um, reproductive anatomy lesson, uh, scrotum is analogous to the labia uh, on females. And, of course, the testes are analogous to the ovaries. It's normal for the testes to hang outside of the body cavity. And I'll mention more about that in, in a slide f later on in this lesson. It turns out that the inside of the human body, 98.2.6 um, degrees, whatever it is, is actually too hot uh, for sperm to develop normally.